Hello everyone, welcome to Being Konisa, where we share and speak about self-improvement. My name is Okware Isaac. If it's your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button below because we do upload new videos every Thursday and Sunday. As we all search self-improvement, we do seek for anything that can lead us throughout our journey of self-improvement. But few realize that the Bible is one of the greatest tools of self-improvement. And that's why today, let's use the Bible and see how it directs us throughout our self-improvement. But before we go any further, let's begin with a word of prayer. Lord Almighty Father, Creator of heaven and earth, we thank you for the precious gift of life you have granted to each of us. We ask for your guidance throughout our journey of self-improvement. Enable us to discover and use the great potentials and abilities you have given to us. We ask this trusting and believing in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So today I'm going to talk about some of the five Bible verses that I use throughout my self-improvement. Let's begin with 1st John chapter 4 verse 19. It reads, We love because he first loved us. We all know that love is all about sharing. And that's why the Bible says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And you can't share what you don't have. That means before you love your neighbor, you have to have the love yourself. And that's where they call for self-love. And we all know that you can't, we all want to love what is better. Everyone loves what is good. So in order to, ha to love yourself, you have to be good. You have to look better. And that's why it is calling for the self-love. You have to develop that love around yourself before you go further and share it to the neighbor. And this is where self-improvement begins from. Loving yourself. Let's move on. The second Bible verse. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 have i not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go being strong and courageous does not require any ground gestures more often this is made up of small decisions we make every day the strong and courageous, his meaning here, is the decisions we make. Let your decisions be strong. You may have all the strength you need, but if you don't have strong decisions, you are nothing. So his meaning, let's make strong decisions. The courageous, he's talking about is the ability to follow the strong decisions we have made so every day make strong decisions and have that courage to follow those decisions no matter what happens there's another interesting bible verse here first corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 do you not know that in a race all the runners run but only one receives the prize so run that you may obtain it we all know during a race in order to receive the prize you have to put in much effort and dedication and this is what they are urging us they are urging us to do whatever it takes to win the prize. 
do whatever it takes to get their best. They are not that one who receives the prize. They are just representing that a few often get the prize. And that's why that encouraging us to be among the few. And the few, these are people with much effort and dedication exhibited like the athletes, the fourth Bible verse. Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 4. Whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. Here they're just trying to mean people who wait for favorable conditions in order to do what they are supposed to do. I often tell people there is no perfect situation for you to do whatever you want to do. But do whatever you want to do to create the perfect situation. Because here they're telling us if you wait for the wind to come down, for you for you in order to plant you want if you wait for the clouds to clear for you to reap you want this also applies to me at time at times i want to begin new projects but i'm i'm like let me wait for the right money let me wait for the right friends when will i get the right money when will i get the right Friends, when will I get the right place? We have Mark chapter 5 verse 36. Let me only extract what I need from here. Do not fear, only believe. Do not fear, only believe. We all know that faith is the only remedy in times of sorrow and grief. The belief they are talking about here is self-belief. That time when you feel low, I always say that self-belief is the fuel for the body. No matter the situation and you feel low, as long as you have the self-belief, you know everything will at time T be alright. At times we face so hard situations and you feel like there's no i think i can't get out of this this is the end but if you have the self-belief keep telling yourself i know i'll get over this i know i'll win i know i will conquer i know i'll manage it i know i can do it that's why i say have the self-belief because it's the self-belief that generates the self-esteem and this is what opens your door to success if you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you. Thank you for your effort. And I encourage you, if you have any other Bible verses that can help me throughout my self-improvement, please, you can share them below in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here and share throughout our journey of self-improvement. Thank you. I remain Okware Isaac. And this is all about being connoisseur.